All I want for my birthday is a TV studio. In three, two. Why, hi there, I'm Ron Juckett. It's time for Uncle Ron's Thoughts because I'm Uncle Ron and I have some thoughts. Today, this November 18th, 2015, Boston Red Sox slugger David Ortiz announced that 2016 next season will be his last as a major leaguer. And uh, he made his announcement on the website the players journal where he made a nice two and a half minute video explaining his reasons why and uh, saying it pretty much was time he, he's gonna be he turned 40 today today's his 40th birthday and it's just it's probably the right time to do it ortiz is has had is a legend in a day and age in boston where the patriots have become the team, uh, despite the Red Sox winning three World Series over a 12-year period, David Ortiz is is would be in the running for anyone's quote-unquote Mount Rushmore of great Boston athletes. He certainly means as much to the city and New England as Tom Brady does. Uh, he certainly means as much to the friend, to the Red Sox uh, fan base as Carl Yastrzemski did back in the late 60s when they finally became good again. Uh, probably more so than than Jimmy Rice, uh, Dwight Evans, Carlton Fisk, and uh, and Roger Clemens, who also had monumental careers with the Red Sox. Uh, Pedro's on a whole different level. Pedro Martinez, as far as what he means, he was probably the, one of the best pitchers of all time. Certainly, probably the best pitcher in Red Sox history. But I think Ort Ortiz's contribution to Boston, and I think what puts him in the Hall of Fame when all is said and done, despite the uh, the failed PED test is specifically what he meant for the city when he, he was a catalyst that helped beat the Yankees in 2004 when they were down three nothing in that best of seven American League Championship Series. He's the one with the big home run in Game Four. Don't let us win it tonight. He's the one that won Game Five less than 24 hours later after a six-hour game at, at Fenway. Uh, he was the one that pulled aside the team when things weren't going well. And the last time they were in the World Series in 2013, pulled him in the dugout and said, this is the way we have to play. And of course, he mentor, he had a very strong relationship with the late Boston Mayor Thomas Menino, who was a beloved figure himself. They were very good friends. And of course, the speech he gave after the marathon bombings when he told anyone that would listen, that this was our fucking city. And yes, I did say the word. Ortiz's impact, as far as is on the team, as far as on the region, I think is probably greater than anybody. He's probably, you know, maybe Yaz and Bobby Orr, I think would be up there, and certainly Brady. But as far as what Brady's done for the community, not that Brady's ever done anything bad for the community, it doesn't have that same sense as, as Ortiz. The the like I said a minute, moment ago with with the old mayor Tom Menino, you know Menino and Ortiz did ads together as corny as they were, as corny as they were, they did them together and and I think along with Pedro Martinez and his and what he meant to the Dominican parts of Boston, I think Ortiz has done that for for those parts of the city as well, and just being. They're very gregarious face. He loved what he did. You can never tell, maybe except for that poor dugout phone in Baltimore, that he didn't actually love being out there on the field or being a DH. Uh, do the numbers support him being there for DH? Yes. He's going to pass Frank Thomas for most homers from a DH position this year or next year if he hits 18. Um, that'll give him 522 or plus. He has played at a top level for a long time. Remember, the Minnesota Twins cut him. He did not cost any money or any players for the Red Sox to sign. And in fact, when they did sign him in 2003, he platooned the DH rule. I mean, he, he, there was no career for David Ortiz. This has all been with Boston. 
Um, by the time that he comes up for a Hall of Fame vote in 2021, we'll have knowingly put in a PED user at that point. Or someone will have cl come clean and said, yes, I did. I, I, I did. And so however much of Ortiz's career he played clean, which I uh, hope was most of, um, I think his numbers as a ball player and what he meant for the Red Sox and his involvement in the community shows more of his fame as opposed to him, him should be being punished for what he did or did not do or did do. Uh, as a voter for the Internet Baseball Writers Association Hall of Fame ballots, I have voted for Roger Clemens. There's no reason to keep Clemens out of the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. And there's no reason to keep Barry Bonds out of the Hall of Fame, either. They had very success successful careers before they tried to cheat Father Time. Uh, I feel that way about Ortiz. I, I think his contributions outweigh the detriments, and he is worthy of induction in Cooperstown, even over Edgar Martinez, so you can debate whether or not he was a better designated hitter. I would think the best p pure designated hitter was probably Frank Thomas. Um, Ed Edgar's right there as as far as being a very good hitter is concerned. But I think if you look at the overall package of, of David Ortiz and what he's meant for his team and his community and, and for his home country, I, I think that gets him in. Unless it's shown that he was uh, shooting shooting up in the dugout between that bats, then, uh, then I think he has to get in. I think he really did mean that much. A gentle soul, uh, sometimes a little churlish, sometimes a little childish, but Overall, one of the best characters ever in in Major League Baseball history, and I believe that deserves to be enshrined. I I, I think you got to go with it. Um, he'll never be forgotten here, and regardless of whether or not the voters in Cooperstown put him in the Hall of Fame, I do believe at some point, hopefully in six years, that number thirty four will be going up in in right field at Fenway Park. His number, his career is one of the best ever in Red Sox history, probably offensively third behind uh, Williams and Ted Williams and Yaz. Uh, that, that's how good his accomplishments are. So that's Uncle Ron's thoughts. Tell me yours below. Follow me on Twitter, Ron Chuckett. And until then, I'm Uncle Ron, and I'll talk to you the next time.